A friendship is a shared understanding, a shared trust. If you're fortunate enough to find a true companion, that's a person who can dance with you in the light, but more importantly, guide you through the dark. Over the last 20 years, Arizona Diamondbacks general manager Mike Hazen and manager Tori Lovello have had just such a bond. That's for Tori. Tori will sign it right there, okay? They have a shared understanding of how to run a baseball team that ascended to the National League pennant last season. But they also have a shared trust honed by hardship and unthinkable tragedy. This is the story of a friendship that has made the Diamondbacks not just a baseball team, but a family, one for whom a great loss has made the wins all the more cherished. Are we doing any meetings this afternoon? No, I told the guys we'll start tomorrow. So who are we starting with? The big we'll, boys? We, yeah, we'll do, let's, let's talk about this right now because I'll get them on the, on the horn. This friendship sprouted down on the farm, literally. Back in 2004, Mike and Tori's work in Cleveland's minor league system brought them together in a Kinston, North Carolina tobacco field. The best part of our relationship happened 20 years ago when he was a manager in Kinston and lived in a tobacco field. We would stay up all night and would sit out on that front porch and smoke cigars, and I hate cigars. That's where, the, where it took off. That's where the relationship started. Mike and Tori reconnected in Boston in 2013. And then in 2017, when the D-backs hired Hazen to run their baseball operations, his first hire was Lavello. Mike and Tori enjoyed instant success. Nice going. The team won the NL Wild Card in 2017, and Tori was named NL Manager of the Year. As Mike's four young sons came of age in Arizona, they knew Tori as more than just their dad's coworker. During baseball and everything, he still manages to find a way to hang out with us, and we've grown closer, and it kind of feels like he's a part of the family as well. The relationship extended to Mike's wife, Nicole, and Tori's wife, Kristen. At first, it's like just because the guys are together. It's an arranged friendship. Yep, yeah. exactly. And then you start to pick and choose, and you know, and her and I just mesh like that. She was like a big sister. They were just friends. And it was baseball, and it was the kids, and they would go to games together all the time. If there was anybody to look up to, it would be Nicole. She was a great mom and loved her boys. <laughs> I gave a ton of hugs to my mom. She would give me a ton of hugs back. So the amount of love that I got from her um, was just unsurpassed. But beginning in 2020, this baseball family was brought to its knees when Nicole was diagnosed with an aggressive, deadly brain tumor. I was at my home when he called and officially said she has a glio something called the glioblastoma. And I quickly Googled it, and I'm like, oh my god, this isn't good. Once I figured out that glioblastoma, no one really survived from it. It was tough emotionally. It's when it started to go downhill at the beginning of 21. That's when it got a lot harder, because she started to deteriorate physically. I just felt like I had to take care of her. Mike Hazen, the general manager, taking a physical leave of absence. Mike will still consult, but his wife, Nicole, has been battling brain cancer. The long home stands, uh, the travel, is becoming a little harder for me to do my job to the best of my ability and still making what is the most important thing in my life the most important thing. You can't describe it, the emotion that you would feel walking into this house. We just let them know. We're here for you whenever you need us. That's all we want to do as his friends, just be here to love him and, and her and just support them any way we knew how. We got the behind the curtain look at kind of what he was dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis and his commitment level to his family and not once complained about it. 
He was there for Nicole every day and there for the boys every day. The hardest part was all that happened and we were losing a lot. In 2021, the Diamondbacks spiraled to a humiliating 110 losses. Mike and Tori's bond that had once been so unshakable was pushed to the professional brink. The choruses were getting louder for both of us. Um, the manager gets more of it than I do. I was kind of lashing out at him and taking it out on him, and I felt like I was just being selfish. He's trying to help his wife, and um, I, I, I literally hated myself. That's the real stuff that happens that you have to figure out a way to survive. This guy came to work the same way every time in a 110 loss season. Like, that told me everything I needed to know. Throughout those bleak times on the field, Mike had Tori's back. And as Nicole underwent three craniotomies and multiple drug therapies, the Lavello family had the Hazen family's back. As Nicole got sicker, she wouldn't let a lot of people into the, into the circle anymore. Kristen was one of the only people that she would let in to help take care of her on a daily basis. Kristen was at my house every day, you know? Um, like every day and show up in the morning and she'd leave at night and <clears throat> whether I was home or wasn't home. It's very touching that we have as much support around our family. It just made it kind of feel like a whole new family, a whole new bond in the way she stepped up to help us. What was important to her in terms of the people she was entrusting with everything she had built here? Yeah. I think she was worried about her boys. And I think she was worried. And I know she was worried. That they, she wouldn't be there for them and that they wouldn't have a mom. And I think she just wanted them to always remember her and carry her around in their hearts. Nicole passed away on August 4th, 2022. She was just 45. Kristen was the first one I called to tell her that she passed away, and they walked in my house at, I mean, Nicole passed away at 4 a.m. I think they probably were in my house at like 4.30 in the morning that morning. The Diamondbacks family kept Mike's wife's spirit alive by starting the Nicole Hazen Fund for Hope, which supports patients battling brain tumors. And in 2023, the D-backs themselves began to build hope as a young club that few expected to go anywhere went on a run that felt orchestrated from up above. Thankfully, things started to work more in the other direction for us on the field. Tori did an incredible job on the bench. And there is the light at the end of this tunnel. They finally got through, and now it's on to October. How nice is it to succeed with someone you feel such a strong connection to? Just the belief that he had me, and we came out the other end. It was pretty special. Yeah, we have our arguments. Probably more because the guard drops, but it's what makes it worth doing. There goes Mike Hazen. The GM is in there. <laughs> Boy, those two have been through a whole lot together. I know how much it would have meant to Nicole, too. She would have been front and center in all of that stuff. She probably would have jumped in the pool, and I'd have been like, what, right? I'd have been like, what are you doing? But she, it just, that's how excitable she was about all that stuff. And so I felt that during the playoff run. I thought about it all the time. And, you know, it was part of what sucked in a little way. But I know that, that she was still watching. She had a guiding hand. I guarantee it. My wife and I used to laugh about it. Anytime it was something with a four, could tell would come up to bat. We'd be like, oh, something good's gonna happen. Four was her number. She had the four boys. It was her birthday. It was unfortunately the day she passed away. Four home runs in the inning for the Diamondbacks. I've never seen anything like this, nor have I. We were always like, yeah, she's here. She's doing it. And those hugs were more than just hugs of joy. It was 
Look where we got. Look what we got through. We knew our mom supported our dad so much. So in a lot of the ways, we like to remember the run kind of for her. Like, this is what she would have really wanted and kind of her spirit um, smiling down and standing with us, cheering at all those games. And the 2023 Arizona Diamondbacks are headed to the World Series. We just have a tremendous group of players that work really hard, coaches and a great manager. The Diamondbacks' 2023 story ended with a World Series loss to the Rangers. But this baseball family has been through much darker days than that. You, you stay by my side you, you kept on the lights and you knew just what to say when I was fading. And now, with Hazen and Lavello having both signed contract extensions last fall, a friendship built on understanding and trust and strengthened by shared suffering, carries on into a future that looks bright. I think you should know you saved my life. What we went through, took things to a whole different level. Just being here with them and for them, how can you not be friends for life? What we went through, like, I'll never forget for the rest of my life. They helped walk my wife into death in a way that was comforting and loving. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what else happens. I'm never gonna forget that.